Hey everyone, so I'm hitting you guys with two episodes back to back because I've been slipping and I honestly don't know when the next time I will be able to record another video. So today I also wanted to talk about step and more specifically step one. And if you are a recurrent watcher of my videos, you know that I didn't do too well on my MCAT. And there's a huge correlation between MCAT scores and step scores. So I was honestly afraid that I was just going to repeat the cycle again. However, I wasn't going to do the same mistake that I did while I was preparing for my MCAT. And so while preparing for my step, <clears throat> Preparing for my step, I took a whole different approach, like completely different. And I am happy and proud to say that the scores that I received were honestly exactly what I wanted. And uh, it, that was just a testament for me to show that as much, the score that you really want depends on how much effort you are willing to put into studying for said test. Like most second years or most medical students, Hearing or thinking about step one is very, very, very scary. It brings up a lot of anxiety and that was exactly what it did for me. I was so afraid to take the step one. I was so afraid to study for it because I didn't think I would be able to dedicate as much time needed to be in the library for about 12 hours a day studying every single day for this exam. After taking step one and getting your scores back, you realize that all the stress and anxiety that you put yourself through was worth it, but you know, you feel so much better once it's all over. So today I just really want to talk about my steps towards taking, taking step one. And this is going to be a very brief, short overview. So for me, what I did before, prior to studying for step one, is that I used my subscription for UWorld. A good thing about our school is that they give us UWorld for step one for free. Technically it's not free, it's in our tuition, but the school knows how important UWorld, um, US Emily um, Question Bank is, and how huge of a correlation it has with step scores. So they made sure to incorporate that into our tuition. So during my second year, I activated my subscription for step, um, the US Emily U World Step 1 Question Bank. And for every single module that we would do, I would maybe do about 50 questions, 50 or 100 questions from U World to kind of get myself into the mindset of what I should be expecting once I start taking step or studying for step. Well, I also used pretest. Pretest is a free version um, of a question bank. The type of questions that Pretest does ask isn't as rigorous or as hard or as challenging as some of the questions for UWorld. So you could potentially use Pretest as a starter for you and then work your way up to UWorld US MLE Step 1 uh, question bank. Now, a lot of people may ask whether or not you should study or do some step studying towards December, like during your December break. I thought that I would, but I honestly didn't. I would, however, suggest doing some sketchy micro. And if you are a medical student, you all know about sketchy micro or sketchy medical. I uh, did a lot of sketchy micro on my time off. And so I would say that immunology on step was kind of easy for me because I would go over and over a lot of the sketchy micro videos. So that's another thing I would suggest doing. Now that sketchy has sketchy pharmacy, Sketchy Farm is by far the best thing in my opinion. I think it's even better than Sketchy Micro because, oh my God, so I was never a medical student that could grasp farm or to like completely understand all the mechanism and memorize the 5,000 different drugs that you can treat with one um, specific disease. It was always so hard for me. And Sketchy Farm was a godsend. Oh my goodness, Sketchy Farm is by far one of the best resources that I use and I would highly, highly, highly suggest using Sketchy Farm when you're studying for STEP. I would also highly suggest using Sketchy Farm now. Um, so I am a big advocate of Sketchy Medical. I think it's amazing. So the things that I use to study for STEP, I kept it very simple. I did Sketchy Medical, I used Pathoma, I used um, UWorld, um, US Emily Step 1 question, question Bank, and I use First Aid. Those are the only resources that I use. I didn't use anything else. And that's because I don't I didn't feel like I would have enough time to actually do every resource that there was or offered. 
And so what I really wanted to do was do you world twice. And so that's about 4,000, 5,000 questions. And I really wasn't going to have enough time to do anything else if I'm doing about 30 to 50 questions a day. So figure out what resources that you're going to use to study for step. And I was going to trust myself to make my own schedule and follow that schedule. However, I would say I didn't make my own schedule. One of my classmates, my dearest, dearest, dearest classmate, Chinna Dude, that is like my ride or die, she made my schedule for me. And it's because we decided to study together. And so with her schedule, she pretty much uh, was the same thing, but she asked me certain things that I really wanted to focus on. And then she catered that to me. And so I'm going to show you guys the schedule that she made for me. Okay, so this is a schedule that she made. And this outlined every single day for the, the past nine weeks that I spent studying for step and I tried to make sure that I stayed on track and for I would say 90% of the time I was on track with that schedule and I did everything that schedule told me to do and I think that was so extremely helpful because it kept me organized and I'm not a very organized person but I am very organized when, whenever I have a planner or a schedule so that really helped me thank you Chinadu I love you you are the best and I need you in my life forever I was studying for six days a week from 9 to 8 p.m. every single day and on Saturday I gave myself a break However, sometimes I would fall behind with my schedule. I wouldn't do some questions. I wouldn't read certain things. So sometimes I'm, on Saturdays, I would study to catch up. So there were some days or some weeks where I studied seven times a week. But that's because I really, really, really wanted to stay on course with my uh, with the schedule that I had. And that was one of the best things that I did for myself. So the last thing I'm going to say about step one, uh, something that I did that I think really helped me is I made no cards. Uh, of the first aid book and that was so that once I finished reading the entire book instead of going back to the book I would be able to go to my flashcards and just read them um, quickly instead of having to flip through a book. Also on my note cards I put other things in that I saw in Pathoma or a sketchy micro that the step first aid didn't have and I put that on the note card so therefore I kind of had everything that I needed in one place and here are the note cards and what I did when I was going over all of the information, I put little sticky notes on them right there. So therefore, those are the things that I had a hard time remembering. So when I reviewed it a second time, I just went through the tabs, wherever the tabs were, and I reviewed that specific um, page. And this actually really, really helped me so I hope you guys, I hope this helps some of you guys put in pers uh, perspective what to think about doing before studying for STEP or while studying for STEP. If you, again, if you're interested in a longer or more in-depth video about what to do while you're studying for STEP, preparing for STEP, I will be glad to do that and bring along about two or three classmates who um, can also give you advice on what they did to score the scores that they scored and um, be successful. Thank you all for watching. I really hope to see you guys next week. If not, we will be there together in spirit. All right, so you guys have a great Sunday.